Hi folks, Cliff here with Recreation Destinations, and today we are talking sh**. You couldn't back a trailer to save your life. Oh yeah? Well your mama wears combat boots. No, not like that. We're talking about septic system maintenance today. Oddly enough, your holding tank maintenance may be kind of a controversial subject because there's a lot of opinions on how to take care of your septic system the best in order to prevent any damage to your RV or the dreaded poop pyramid. Either way, a breakdown in your systems, uh, whether they get stopped up or filled up, is not a good thing when you're RVing and it's going to get very expensive very fast. So we're gonna go over a few tips today and tell you some ways that you can maintain your RV. Somewhere inside your RV, you have something that looks similar to this. This is your tank indicator. It's also a battery indicator as well, but we won't be talking about that today. As you depress the buttons, you'll notice that the LED indicators indicating full, two-thirds, one-third, or empty will light up, giving you the levels of your gray, black, and fresh water, respectively. Unfortunately, these are one of the first things to fail in an RV. I just dumped both of the holding tanks and they're showing totally full on the readout. The problem is not the display itself, but these sensors that are located on your tanks. These sensors operate on the simple principle that water conducts electricity. As the water level rises from one sensor to the next, the corresponding LED on this display lights up. It's simple and effective until they quit working. The system begins to malfunction as debris builds up on the sensor terminals on the inside of the tank. This debris can be anything from food particles in your gray tank to toilet paper and other nastiness in your black tank. You see the septic system in your RV is totally different than you have in your house. So you're storing all of your gray and black water for long periods of time and then dumping it. Or at least that's the way you should be doing it. In this graphic you see an animation of what it looks like inside your tanks when you leave the valve open. While this isn't a terrible thing for your gray tank, it can get really problematic for your black tank because you will build up what is called the poop pyramid. As water is called the universal solvent, when you have your black tank full of water, it naturally breaks the solids down into more of a sludge. So when you finally do drain your tank, then everything is flushed out very well. Down here below, we have the uh, standard gray valves and black valves. And we're going to show you one simple addition to help you keep your black tank very clean. So what we're looking at here today is an extra valve that you can add to your gray and black water tank uh, drain line in order to get the maximum cleaning effectiveness out of your gray tank every time you flush your black tank. Now, a lot of RVs, already have a flushing system in them. So this really doesn't apply to those RVs. However, if your RV doesn't have any kind of black tank flush and you want a simple and effective way to keep your black tanks as clean as possible, just add one of these. And what I'm talking about is right down here. These are called bayonet couplings. And you can see this valve has got a bayonet coupling on both ends, it's female and male and the valve itself attaches right to your main drain pipe on your black and gray water tanks. And you can see right now that the valve is closed, the handle is in. This is just a standard gate valve, and they're available at uh, all kinds of different RV supply places. Camping World would be one. You may find these at some of the bigger department stores, and you can definitely find these online anywhere from $17 to $30, if, depending on how you shop around. Uh, what this does, the principle of this is it will allow your gray tank water, instead of running right out your drain pipe, to flush back into the black tank, uh, kind of stir everything around, then allow that black tank to stay a lot cleaner with this simple addition. So what you see here are the gray and black dump valves. And you can see that the gray dump valve, valve is open. However, if we move the camera over here so we can just check out the plumbing of this RV. You can see this is your gray water line coming into this main Y junction here. Now this valve is closed 
So basically what's happening is at this point all the gray water has got all this piping system here full. Full gray. Now what we're going to do, we're going to reach up in here and pull the black valve. When we do that, all this water that's in the gray tank is going to flush into the black tank, stir everything all around, kind of clean it up like so. You don't hear a whole lot now, but the water is still flowing in, so we'll wait about five or 10 seconds. Let that fill the black tank up with some gray water. Stir everything around. And then we're going to close the gray tank. So now we have uh, some gray water flushed into the black tank. We're gonna pull the valve down here. We've got the gray closed and the black open. So now we've let the uh, black tank drain. And we'll go ahead and close this gate valve again. We'll go up underneath uh, and open the gray tank again. Again, you hear all the water from the gray tank rushing into the black tank, stirring everything around. Give it a few seconds, 10 or 15. Close your gray tank again and repeat. And now that you've done this a few times, just close our main valve here on the end and close our black tank up. Maybe go ahead and drain the gray tank out one more time just to flush all your lines out. Uh, when the toilet starts to burp, then you know your black tank is full and it's time to dump it. And what we like to do is make sure that we have enough gray water. When that black tank starts to get full, you can, after you've been RVing for a while, you can tell it's starting to get full. We'll go ahead and close our gray tank at that point so we can save up enough gray water to flush everything out.